uh, again, hindsight after you've been far removed from it and as you get older and learn how to communicate. It's, it's the biggest problem with communication, in my opinion, in competitive teams, it's not about who's right or wrong. It's the tone that people use. I'll give you, the, like I said, a perfect example. I was watching scrims the other day while I was eating my lunch and uh, Clayster and Temp are on a brand new team together. And I haven't said this. And I got a lot of respect for those guys. Me and Clay won together. And this has nothing to do with their talent or, or even personality. In Call of Duty specifically, and I'm sure it's like this in other games, this is the first, this is like the second day that this game has been out, and they're scrimming. And if you go back and watch this VOD, it's the tone of the way that they're calling out and the way that they're talking to each other. It's dismissive, it's passive aggressive, and people don't realize in, in, until you mature that the only way that you're going to be able to communicate some, with somebody and get something out of them and vice versa is by talking to them like a human being. You know, it, it, it's really all about delivery when you want somebody to listen. It, it's the tone of your voice. It's the energy. And I think that's the biggest problem in competition. It, of course, there's certain points where you think you're right. They think they're right. Somebody's wrong, right? Um, but at the end of the day, I think if everybody can remove themselves from the situation and realize, listen, there's a reason why we're all on a team together. We all, if, if you don't respect my talent, then we got, we got a bigger problem. We need to fix that. Cause then we just can't move for, for, forward together. But at the end of the day, if you do respect each other's talent and you do believe your team can win, you need to do everything in your power to make sure that you don't let, uh, you know, oh, I haven't eaten. So I've got a, uh, I, I get hangry. And I used to, cause I used to have the same problem. Uh, you know, I just call out and I'd make shitty comments and my tone would be off cause everybody's frustrated. Everybody's competitive. Everybody wants to win. Um, I don't think I'm answering your question exactly the answer you're looking for, but I genuinely do believe that for people like Clay and Temp and for anybody, if you can learn how to communicate properly and make sure you're heard by being respectful and talking about it at the right time when the map is over and everybody respects those rules and respects that mission that you're all on, people wouldn't run into as many problems as they, as they do.